How's it going my fellow captains? So guys, in this video, I wanted to talk about Korean Air and also their plans for a fleet renewal. Now at the moment, the airline has 178 planes ranging from various families that both Airbus and Boeing offer. So it goes without saying that they have a diverse fleet which tackles all aspects within the aviation market. But as we move towards more fuel efficient aircraft, the need to retire all the planes becomes almost a necessity if you want to remain profitable. And that's exactly what Korean Air planning to do. Now according to the CEO of the airline, he's expressed deep interest in considering both the 777X and also the A350 family for a huge wide body order. As well as the wide body order, he's also considering adding more planes to his Dreamliner order. They currently have 8 of the 787-9s already in service and with 2 more to be delivered. And we could expect them to order another 10 of the Dreamliners to tackle the increase in growth especially with the Trans-Pacific routes. But what's unusual about airlines on the other side of the world is that they use wide-body aircraft for both international and also regional routes. Now over here in Europe and also the US, that kind of utilization for aircraft would be economical suicide. But it just goes to show how demand has spiked, especially during the last few years in that region. Now they currently have 42 of the Boeing 777 planes, ranging from the 200ER, 300 and also the 300ER. If they decide to go with the 777X, then it could be used to replace a few of their older planes. They also have 13 of the 747s, 10 for the Intercontinental and 3 for the Standard 400 variant. Although the future of the Intercontinental is relatively secure for now, the 400 will definitely be retired. Now depending on which model they decide to go for the A350, it has the potential to replace their A330s and also their 777s. Now having analysed their fleet utilisation, even with me just looking at it, it seems like they pay a lot of money on maintenance for their planes. He's even acknowledged that they operate way too many types of planes, so this could be their opportunity to streamline their fleet and also get their accounts in check. Now the CEO hasn't given us a time frame for when this potential order will be made or how many planes he will order. And to be honest, I don't blame him because when you're going to spend millions if not billions of dollars, then you definitely want to make the right choice. But since the Paris Air Show is coming next year, we could see them finalise their decision and make the order during that time frame. If they decide to go for the 777X, then it will definitely give that program a boost because no order was made for the plane during this year's Farnborough Air Show. We know that the A350 is doing extremely well and it'll continue to gain orders for sure. To be honest, we'll just have to wait and see what decision they make, but I'm sure that Boeing will definitely try to bargain with the airline to get the best deal. Now guys, if you have any opinions or thoughts, then do share them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching guys, like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.